Hey Pex Comics here. Walking to the mailbox. Well not mailbox, mail center. That's a good it feels like three miles or more. My car is out of shape. My mom's car is out of shape. We're going on vacation anyway. So here's a little walkabout. This in front of a brew house. This is uh J and B's brew house. BJ, sorry, BJ's brew house. Go over there. Ah, uh, thoughts. Well, I'm, obviously, I'll be out of town, so I won't be doing any live streaming this weekend. I'll try to do one before I go if I have time. I have some ideas. I have some really good ideas. Is this, uh, sun is out. It's hard to say it. I'm recording this, but I'm glad I'm recording it. Oh, how's everybody? It's going to be close to 100 degrees in Lubbock, Texas. Thank goodness for the wind. It keeps the humidity down. If you're in Houston or San Antonio, where there's a lot of humidity, my prayers are with you. So, here we are. I've been having some good ideas as I was jogging to the post office. Yes. I was thinking a lot about Fembat. I had my Fembat uh, uh, copy of my artwork in the back of the uh, comic book package I was sitting out. Plus the Apex Comics logo. Plus the Fembat logo. Remember the uh, Fembat bookmark design. It was a black and white. So I lumped it in with one frame inside my Fembat story. My 56 page Fembat story. And so I'm thinking about doing a a prequel before the book comes out so everyone can maybe get a good idea of who Olivia Del Rey, also known as Fembat, who who she is. Get a little bit acquainted. There's a lot of action and of course in Fembat Volume 1. There's some good story and dialogue. I wrote it, drew it all myself. I created the character back in 1998. The first appearance was a Cartoonist Northwest newsletter dated, I believe, September or October 1998. I have to really flip through it. There's like limited quantities of that newsletter, very scarce to find. Who knows, it may be worth something someday. That is, I'll get this book out. <laughs> so, as of now, I've been, my car's transmission problem, I'm trying to, trying to accumulate over three thousand dollars get it fixed i'm trying to reach four thousand so i'm going to draw a lot of uh, cool sketch cards for sale i'm going to auction off some art I'm talking uh original art and prints maybe a package <laughs> yeah go baby go so yeah i'm planning on doing that a prequel, I believe, is going to be possibly it's between a six and eight page story. I'll write it myself. I might get a, another artist to draw it just so I can mix it up a little bit. And uh, I'm going to have the first six pages of Fembat uh, on there as well. It'll be like a Fembat prequel. So it should be an amazing book. Before the actual book comes out that's just my ideas I hope it comes to fruition and uh, double flyer Rex and myself We're going to have a double flyer versus fan back crossover that will be sometime next year can't be really definite because I don't know how long it's going to take to for me to pencil these pages it may be a 24 pager a floppy Rex got to ink it Rex and I are going to Plotline the story out. Rex mainly gonna write it. I'm mainly gonna illustrate it. So it's gonna be fun. So, oh, also, Gable Penny Shot and I are gonna combine forces for a Tentacle Girl uh, book. It's gonna be a floppy because I only have a limited amount of time to, to draw on a few projects. So, it's gonna be my first. Attempt at manga. Good luck. Please, good luck. I hope it goes well. I'm about to research a lot of the manga artists, like maybe Adam Warren and 
other artists uh, to actually delve into it. It sounds like more of a manga character than a superhero character. So I'm thinking maybe 2025 on that one. I gotta pace myself in these projects. I can't uh, go all out like uh, EVS and you know be late for three years. I can't do that. So uh, I did get my Rent Planet books. I've got I've read it. it. It's a good story. I thought the first book was better. There needs to be more action in the second Rent Planet story. Hopefully the uh, the third Cyberfog book will be a lot more action. All right, so. Other projects, uh, go to fundmycomic.com, support Luke Stone and his company. See if we can get some more books, crowdfunding on that platform. That's fair. It's a platform that's fair to the creator. They don't do shadow betting. They only take 2%, while Indiegogo takes about 5%, and of course Kickstarter, 7%, as far as I know. So anyway, support your independent creators, your independent filmmakers, your independent artists everywhere. And until next time, have a great pleasant day. Ciao for now.